this man told me that I should go and lose my hair. The hair that I just made, I made it last week, the last week, and it was a Monday the man cut me. I made it on Wednesday and he cut me on Monday, the next Monday. I said, this hair, the hair that is never not to a week. I said, I cannot lose blood that I just made it. I know you want to enter in learning, you want to study in learning, but I'm yet to bust your bubble. Hi beautiful people, I'm Shetemi, thanks for stopping by. I just want to apologize for the noise in advance. There's a construction going on behind my house and the noise might be coming in during the course of the video and I just apologize. Thank you. So let's get right into the video. So if you are planning to apply to study in learning, or you've already applied, just want to give you cons that you need to know before you pick. I just want to give you cons of studying in learning. I've been in learning for three years now, and I think I'm qualified enough to talk. And this is coming from my perspective and my perspective alone. So I'm going to start with the cons and go to the pros. Let's start with bad focus, the good side. <laughs> so on my cons list, the very first thing I have on my cons list is strike. Strike, strike is one thing that has bedeviled Nigerian universities for years now. I'm not talking of just 10 years, like 20, 30, 40 years ago, strike has been disturbing university. So my school in Ilori was, so my school in Ilori is a part of ASU, um, they were, they joined recently, 2019, so I was in under level when they joined back. For like 12 years, they were not part, but I don't know, they joined back, so if you are thinking of coming to Ilori, just put in mind that Ilori is going to go on strike, as far as ASU is on strike, Ilori will also go on strike, so if that, if you want to spend your four years, you want your four years to be your four years, I think you should be considered uni learning, okay? Because currently I'm at home because of the strike. We've been at home since February 14, if I'm not mistaken. And today is March 20, I mean April 28. So it's been two months, two weeks that I've been at home because of strike. But I put my ass to strike all the day to good use. So hopefully, hopefully something gets done about it soon. So the very second thing on my list is sun. See, the sun is, I don't even my like the sun, the sun is everywhere. But trust me, the sun is really learning. Hmm. Everything you know, you know, learning is in in learning that's choir state, and choir state is closer to the north. It, I think it's even classified as a northern state. Self. And you know that in the north, the sun is mad, especially in states like Kano, when there is rain, to the rain too is mad. So in in, in learning as you're in learning, the sun is really really bad. You know when you're coming back from class in the afternoon, or when you're going to class in the afternoon, and the sun is just so bad. The sun is brightening your body. Honestly, it's very, really really bad. In, in, maybe when you've been in school since morning to like eight and you now have classes in between I mean you don't have breaks in between your classes and you now have to hang around and just stay somewhere especially if you are staying off key it's really bad because there are not enough spaces for you to stay sometimes you just have to stand under the sun <laughs> maybe I'm exaggerating but honestly the sun is bad if you're entering a room with fresh skin see I sunscreen is something you need in you know else your skin is going to turn to burnt potato <laughs> I'm not even joking so the third corner on my list for studying uni learning is overpopulation. In my opinion, in my opinion, uni learning is overpopulated because I don't know why we'll be having over 200 students in one department, one level. Like why? It is overpopulated. The number of people applying to study uni learning every year is alarming. In total, the number of students applying to study in schools are too much. The number of universities are not enough for the number of applying to study in Unilorry or study university. Unilorry as a whole, it is, it is, it is, its facilities are not enough for the number of students. It doesn't have capacity. I remember in Nigeria, level, I used to offer this course, plus one, one, one. This course is a faculty course. Students from that faculty also come to offer the course, like education students, management students, even CIS students. They come to offer this course as well. They come for this class as well. And this course. We used to have then Fridays four to six. So I used to have I think I used to have an eight o'clock or ten o'clock class. I can't remember, but I know I used to have a morning class that time. And I'll not have to go to the hostel, come back early because I have to be in class like two thirty, three for you to get seats. Good seats, honestly. Because if you say you want to come to class ten minutes to four, the likelihood of you getting space to sit is very slim. And People will not want to argue for you to keep seats for other people because this person has not gotten here. Why would you want to keep seats for them? And they, they will not be standing. It's not possible. So you have to get to class, that class early. Overpopulation is something we really, really deal with in learning. And it has also affected us in different areas. And I'm going to be getting into another area where population has affected us in really learning. So the fourth point of studying in learning is transportation issues. Honestly, if you don't have a private car, 
of your own i would advise you to stay inside school because transportation is not it's not even funny especially in the morning in the morning transportation is not funny like i said the number of students in minilor is significantly higher than the number of available buses cabs and whatever for transportation from outside off campus to inside campus you know not everybody can afford to stay inside school i know not everybody can afford to get a private car and most people don't have a choice but to stay outside school so i don't blame them this is just what it is fingers are not equal so the transportation is not even funny you see if you have if your classes stop at at four or six i advise you just go and stay with one of your friends that's that is staying in school still till like eight before you get home because most times from three four like this the queue at school parks just start like you just start getting long 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 don't worry when you if you decide to resume or if you decide to apply the learning and they give you admission which i hope they give you if you apply you are going to know after a long day in school you just want to go to your bed and eat you just want to go to your room eat and sleep you not get to pack and see queue very long as queue like you will not wake up the next morning again before you see boss to enter school i'm not trying to discourage you but it's just a fact and on the bright side it's not every time but most times you go through this so if you are lucky and your classes fall between 10 and 2 or 10 and 4 you know lucky you but if you have classes till 6 or you have classes by 8 within throughout your four or five or six years you know you are going to experience these transportation issues trust me and again these corporate drivers they are they feel like they are god honestly they always feel bigger than students sometimes like, the way they treat students is not even it's not it's not nice at all it's not nice so the fifth corner of dress code you know, <laughs> see I, you know the dress code. i think almost every school has a dress code then some departments now have specific colors for you to wear like law you wear white and black um some departments require you to be to be corporate dress corporate they don't actually require colors and some other departments you can dress any you want but not anyhow anyhow you can decide to wear slippers sandals shoes anywhere you want but your outfit for a girl now they said your skirt must be below is it below i think it's below your knee yeah your skirt must be below your knee for guys you can have fitted trousers though most times people don't really stick to the dress code rules but to be on the safe side i advise for you to just wear things that they say you should wear maybe not exactly but stick to the rules and most times they, 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 they this dress code they have a committee say like a committee of officials on that dress code then we now have the people that go around to check students and some even stay at some um departments say like there are some departments i've got that have dress code. i remember one time i passed the island i was on i think pink or red grades and this man stopped me he didn't really stop me because of my hair he said my trust as to why did i fold it i tied the shirt that i was wearing he said i should loosen the shirt that why would i tie it and i said okay that i said, I said when i was there that's it when would i lose it? i said i'll carry the air for a more okay when i carry when i lose the air i should come and meet him and show you my hair so, so they also read at a um, park yes parks they read that some even sometimes when you're walking you just stop. another one happened to me i was walking through um what do they call this place again walk quick and my natural hair my natural hair is not long so i parked it in a bone and this man stopped me that why would i pack my hair like this Mummy, i was in your level then you know it's my id card and i gave it to me i don't know why i gave him my id card that time it was my natural hair pack there was times I packed my natural hair. It's not as if I had any extension or anything. I did just my natural hair. I packed the bone. Simple. He said, hey, my hair is scattered. It's, 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 it's rough. Something that I packed up. My natural hair. Does he expect me to cut my hair or what? Sure. Eventually, he gave me my my um ID card back because I cannot leave my ID card with him. You need to learn. You always have to be your ID card. You use your ID card to write the exam. You use it to write tests. It always has to be on you. That's another thing to be. ID card must always be on you. If you miss your ID, if you misplace your ID card in your it is a struggle. I'm telling you because the process for you to, I don't think you can get a new one. You you only except you're in hundred level. You need that okay. They will still give you a permanent ID card. But if you misplace your permanent ID card, ha, you have to go and collect temporary ID card. And if you don't find your permanent ID card, that's what you use. That temporary card then eh, is not actually a card. It's like a slip where you laminate it. And if you misplace that one again. It's very hard. You have to go to the um, SU office. It's not very long. I've not, I've not misplaced my ID card. No. I've actually misplaced my ID card before, but fortunately for me, I found it. So I've not actually had to go and apply for a temporary ID card before. I misplaced my ID card when I was coming back from an exam. I didn't know it fell from the keke I was in. But thank God somebody tied it on the road. Immediately I noticed that the, the ID card was not in. I already got into the hostel. I think I'm rushing. 
I don't think it back to the hostel. I just went. I know that my head card is only the case or what they do call it and my tag does and my neck. I said, hey, and it was my permanent ID card. I said I can't misplace this. I now started tracing back. I took the care back because I bought some things at the park. I went back to check the I asked the woman I bought something from that she had missing my ID card. She said no. I now went to the um park to go and meet the KK people, the KK drivers that are I'm looking for a keke man that carried me. She, fortunately for me, somebody said they saw an adika that was tied to a pole. So when I went there, I checked it and it was my own, thankfully. I just took my thing and I went back to my hostel, thankfully. So yeah, you don't want to miss your ID card in any way. And I hear that they collect the ID card back, but I'm not so sure about that. Now, another con I feel like it's very important that you should know about is location. In Ilorin on its own is very far. Like in Ilorin, if you are staying in Lagos, Abuja, whatever, in Ilorin is very far. You have to think about it that, okay, if you are somebody that your parents might have problems with you going to a far distance, you may want to be considered to a closer location. And do, you, 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 when you are schooling in Ilorin, and you may not be able to visit home as frequently. That's another thing you should think about. And also, the distance from school gate to school itself, ha, it is long. I think it's like, 15, 10, 15, 20 minutes. I've not really timed it. If you want to see the, the, the ride from school gate to school back, let me know and I'm going to film it once school resumes and I'm in school. So, that's another thing. Distance, like distance from your home to school, distance from school gate to school back. Think about it. You want to be going through that stress every month. And I think you should also consider that when you want to speak accommodation. Now, another con of talking in learning is a very, very low. Like, if you decide to pick in learning as your school of choice, social life is going to be well, there's not a lot of social life in uni learning, and in my opinion, they just have a lot of restaurants. They love food in uni learning, like, there are lots of restaurants in uni learning. I'm not in uni learning, yes, in uni learning, I'm not saying in learning as well. There are lots of hotels, they have bars, they have pools, but they are not. They don't have galleries, they don't have museums, things like that. But just the regular things that you go to, you visit when you are at home. So I feel like the social life is limited. In learning is not, um, in learning I mean, is not as developed as Lagos, obviously. So there's not a lot of exposure there. So if you are cool with just going to, they have just one mall in in learning. What do I keep saying in learning? In learning. So another option of studying in learning is the the probability of you getting admission for the course you want to actually study most people don't get into the most people don't get the opportunity to study the courses of their gender that's why people write jam like two three five times most people that i know that in agric that are in um life science department life science faculty like microbiology majority of them apply to study medicine but they didn't give them either they didn't they didn't get the cut off mark or they got they actually merited the admission but they decided to just move them because the number of people that apply to courses like medicine law is a lot so they just move them to the next best the um, next best um next option if they if they give you if you apply for medicine and you actually have good grades and they don't give you medicine so they give you optometry give you an anatomy or physiology or courses in life sciences or agri so those courses that are related to to um science or they can give you physics or chemistry self but most time they either put you in anatomy optometry microbiology and anatomy yeah so guys that brings us to the end of this video i hope you watch this and i hope this video helps you to make a decision on whether you should study in learning or not thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it. thank you for your continued love and support it is what keeps me going and I just want to apologize for my inconsistency in upload. It is because of Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, yeah. But now, Wi-Fi is back. Thank you, guys. I love you. Bye.